Hello, Jeff Darrington here, Senior Technical Marketing Manager for Greylog. So you've installed Greylog, now what? Let's have a quick look to set you on your path if you're just trying out centralized login with Greylog for the first time. We're gonna have a quick run through on where to find inputs, creating an index, creating a stream and linking to an index. Next, we'll preview the area for parsing log files, reaching your data by looking at pipelines and rules and then discovering lookup tables. To start at a point where you can see data arriving at your Greylog server, you need an input to find. So from here, under system inputs, you'll see a variety of different types of inputs we have in our, in our log server here. So we've got some AWS flow logs and CloudTrail, different CEF types. We've got GELF, different formats for HTTP, Kafka, or TCP, UDP. As you can see, we've got JSON path, NetFlow, We've got spotlights for Office 365, Okta, and Palo Alto, and a variety of raw plain text type formats and syslog formats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this input here I just created uh, earlier. This put input here, if we edit it, you'll see it's just basic GELF input, and we've set it up with its specific port number. So what I'm gonna do is once you've created your input, you can show receive messages. And in this case, I've got some messages from previous, but I'm gonna look in the last five minutes for which we don't have any. But what I'm gonna do is in our documentation, it shows how you can send a, a dummy message or just a test message to your Greylog server. So from here, I'm gonna bring up Linux and I am going to send, as you'll see, this message three times. Let's go four for good luck. And you'll see here, the message is just shown up that I've just sent as a tell there's my first message, test message. Indices and index sets are very important. They're created to contain the necessary settings to create, manage, and fill Elasticsearch indices and handle rotation and data retention. So what we'll do here is under system indices, you'll see a variety of them that I've got already in the system. I'm gonna create a new one and I'm going to call it GELF HTTP. Description is going to be GELF HTTP info. And I'm going to create an index, which is semi standard to our approach. And I'm going to keep everything else pretty much default for this input. And I'm going to save it. Now we have this index and it's important for later when we want to attach streams to an index and that will cover it. Looking at streams, uh, they're connected to indices or index sets. They're used to route your logs and messages into groups or categorize them in real time. So looking here, you'll see under streams, if we utilize the illuminate package or illuminate spotlight, it's part of our enterprise here or illuminate over 365 logs, we edit this stream, you'll see that it's it's been assigned to the index set of 0365 logs. So if you click on this actual stream, this is where it will take you in real time to data that's flowing in on that stream currently. And here you'll see with my information, I have a bunch of logs that have been parsed and coming in on that stream. Let's take a look at pipelines and rules. Pipelines are attached to streams. And pipelines and rules are where the magic happens to your log data. So let's have a quick look here. What I'm highlighting is our search window for our Office 365 spotlight. And in here, you'll see all these logs have been enriched so that they've been separated into parsable fields and made much more easy to understand. So if we take this as an example and we go to system and then we go to pipelines, here you'll see a whole bunch of pre-built ones, which we use as part of our Illuminate Enterprise package. And in each one individually, if we start at this first one, you'll see multiple stages. So multiple stages are set up to have different modifications to the logs as they come in. So any one of these groups, as you'll see here, is a rule to modify or manipulate the logs and pass it on to the next stage. Lookup tables are used to look up, map, or translate field values into new values and write them into fields. As an example of this, using a 
CSV flat text file for mapping IP addresses to host names. So if we bring up here under system and lookup tables, here you'll see the very first one is a illuminate lookup table for our spotlight for illuminate the enterprise feature that comes with the package. This one here contains a cache and a data adapter. So if we go to a separate tab here and look at the cache, this is the parameters of the cache and when it expires. Go back to here under the data adapter and we look at the actual data adapter. This data adapter is creating a lookup in a database file. In this case, it's a MaxMind database file. And it allows you to look up an IP address in this field and test it. Where this is really useful is if we go back here under dashboards and say we want to pick the Office 365 dashboard and we want to change our time here and have a look at our data. This is what makes this useful here so that you can map your actual IP addresses and where they're coming from for different types of information. So this can be used in a wide range of things within Greylog. Thanks for watching today and happy logging with Greylog.